x, p of x, and then we're going to have, let's select those two. I should have kept it unhidden so I can black, white. I'm going to make the x a little smaller. We should probably center it, alignment, center. And then I should probably just copy the x's from what we did before, but I'll recreate them. Well, actually, let's unhide and copy the exact same x's. So I'm going to I'm going to unhide, putting my cursor from L to U, Lou, and then right click and unhide. And let's just pick up the exact same x's to make sure that we have them lined up. This equals this five, putting my cursor on it, double clicking the fill handle. It won't let me do that. So I got to drag it down for crying out loud, Phil. Why is the handle not working? Why is Phil's handle not working? So I'm going to scroll up. We don't need the decimals. Decimals, would you number group kindly depart so that we can get down to business over here. Then I'm going to hide from M to S. So miss is going to, we're going to hide miss and then hide. She's distracting people, the miss. Okay. So now we're going to say this is going to be equal to norm dot dist and so now we're going to pick up uh the x which is now 2022 data so so i'm sorry it's going to be that x the five comma the mean is that 22.2 for the 2022 data i want to f for it because i want to copy it down dollar sign before the k and the two so that 22.2 don't move down comma standard d that's going to be the 6.12 F4, in other words, make it absolute dollar sign before the K and the three, comma, cumulative, no, false, or zero. Closing it up, enter, putting my cursor on it, percentifying the cell, home tab, number group, percentify so we can recognize. And then we're gonna put our cursor on the fill handle and double click it on down. There we have it. And now it, it adds up to 100%. If I go to the total down here and we say alt equal, one or a hundred home tab number percentify decimalize and recognize all right so then we're going to say uh the z we can do our z score which is important for our comparison purposes home tab uh font group black white let's center it let's make it a little smaller and the z is going to be equal to brackets the five minus the X minus the mean 22.2 in this case, close the brackets dividing by the standard D. Standard deviation 6.14, there's our Z. I wanna copy it down so anything that's outside of my data over here, that's outside of the table I'm working in, I need to make absolute, that's anything in column K. So that's gonna be this K2, F4, dollar sign before the K and the two, K3, F4, dollar sign before the K and the three, enter. Putting my cursor on the Z score, double clicking it down, and we can see that it gets to that zero point around 22 and 23 because that's the mean, and that makes sense. So we can compare the Zs for years 2022 and 1920. Now let's do the actual frequency. You're a frequency, frequency, I don't know, font group, black, white. Did you just call me a freak? I w no, it's the freak, the frequency I said. I said frequency. We're gonna say this is gonna be the frequency, which is, which is how many times it's gonna fall into the buckets. For example, this one being above zero up to and including one. So we'll do our frequency equals frequency tab data array is going to be over here control shift down control backspace to get back up comma and then the bins array which are our x's which all live in texas we try to stay out of texas therefore i because you, there's that's where the x's are and so it's not a pleasant place a lot of times that's a song okay get the song out of your head no song references. No one even knows what you're talking about, man. No one even knows what you're talking about. Okay, sorry. Let this. There's still two down here, so let's actually pull this down 
and bring this down to one more. I'll pull these two down so that we get that last two in there. And this should be 56. Ah. Uh, and then there we have it. So now I can total this up. This is going to be uh, alt equals alt equals 822. So that 822 should tie out to that. So that looks good. That's our check number. Now, in, now I, what I'd like to do, I could multiply all these numbers by the 822 so I can compare it to the frequency, but I'd rather make these into percentages. So now I'm going to say this is going to be the actual, actual percent of total. And then we're going to go home tab, font group, black, white, wrap it, uh, center it. And then we'll say this is going to be equal to that zero divided by. I'm going to go into my data so I can go control shift down just so I can find that bottom number. F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the X and the uh, 65 so I can copy it down, not having the total move down when I do so. Percentifying the cell before we copy it down. Home tab number group, percentify to recognize. Add some decimals. Fill handle, double click in it. And fill, fill does the calculations. And there we have it. So I can say alt equals. That should be 100% right there. Home tab number group, percentify to recognize. And so there we have. Now I can say the difference. The difference between the actual data and the P of X data, home tab, font, black, white, center, is equal to P of X stuff minus actual percent of total, percentify, home tab, number group, percentify, decimalize, double click and fill handle to bring it on down. There we have it. All right, so let's, let's put a, I have a 2000, I thought I put a 2000, oh, there it is. Let's center this 2022 thing now, selecting this whole bit up top, right clicking, uh, formatting the cells. And I will do this by going to the alignment group, horizontal center across selection and okay. You can't see it because it's in the middle now and it's white there. 